All right, welcome back everybody to a brand new video here today. And I apologize for not uploading last Friday and Saturday and Sunday because I originally said that I was going to get this video up in the weekend, but I ended up having to work that weekend as well, or la this weekend, last weekend, Jesus. Let's get right into this thing. So we're on Forge World, so we're not on our sword base one that we originally had back in our old, uh, our, my older tutorials. So that's just one thing that you want to note. Um, you can do this on any map that you want. Um, for me, I'm just going to using for be using Forge World for this tutorial video here today. So I've got three Spartans. We've got Ice Advice, Halo Bro 77, and Diamond Spider 44. AI objectives are pretty damn easy to do. Right down here in the hierarchy view, you'll see objectives. Press new instance, press on that objective, press on the zone, change that to the current zone that you would like them to do, and you'll see it pop up as a gray zone. Press add, press on the task there, and press on the zone that you want. So basically what this is telling the AI to do is from their starting point, go to that zone. That's essentially what they're going to do. So you can change their attitude from normal, defensive, aggressive, play fighting, or patrol. We're just going to leave it on normal. And there also is some other things that we can do here in the properties palette for this AI objective. You can ignore fronts, magic player sight, brain dead, uh, deaf, blind, suppress combat, single use gate. There's a ton of different stuff that you guys can use on your own. There's also a follow ability. So we will check this out as well. We will do that in today's video as well. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the zones. I'm going to create a new area. And I'm just basically going to make this huge. I'm going to just make it a giant area, essentially. And just kind of cover a, a huge space. So let's get right into this thing. So let's go here. Let's give them the task and the objective. Then we're going to go scenarios, map reset. And we're going to process or process, do a map reset. Wait for everything to load. There we are. And I actually just realized I need to place my starting position here so I don't spawn out of the map. Okay, so let us go ahead and place the squad. And you'll see that they will run to the zone. Now if we go into the zones and we go to the areas, you'll see that they are tra moving around, traversing within that zone because of that objective. So yeah, that is basically AI objectives. We're going to go ahead and delete them. And we're going to go to their task this time. We're going to untick that uh, zone. And we're just going to make them follow player. We're going to change the follow radius to 1 and Z clamp to 1. Now we're going to X off that objective. Go back here. Take off the objective and reapply it. And we're going to do another map reset. And once we get this map reset in, we're going to go ahead and spawn. I'm going to go to that purple zone. And you will see that they will run to you because they are essentially following you. And they will follow you, by the way. Um, this works for Marines and everything else. So if we spawn in, boom, you'll see that they'll run to me, although they are my enemy, so hold on. Okay, I got that fixed. We're gonna change them to player. And now we have to do a map reset, because I forgot to set the team, my apologies. And we're gonna get these guys spawned back in. We're gonna spawn, we're gonna go to that purple zone. We're gonna spawn in, and watch, they will follow me. If we start walking this way, you'll see as a group, they kind of just universally will follow you. I just realized I have the wrong shoulder pad on my right shoulder. I got to fix that. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is basically how you do it, guys. This is how they follow you. As you can see, they're kind of walking away. I believe it's because I'm out of that area. Yep, I'm way out of the area. That's why they won't, they won't follow me. But if I come back in, boom, they'll run to you. And they'll kind of traverse around. Um... If you notice that they kind of stay a little bit away, uh, like a little bit of distance between you and them, that's just because the AI is just doing what they want to do. But they are following you. As you can see, they did follow me into this area. If we go ahead and go over to this blue area, and we walk into here, you'll see, boom, all three of them run to you. Now, like I said, they won't be super tight knitted to you. I have not figured out how to get them like super tight knit um, with you, like a line per, per se. It's just not possible at the moment with my knowledge of the mod tools. But yeah, that is AI objectives. That's all I'm going to be covering for this as these AI objectives are pretty damn easy to set up. You literally just set everything up in here. There's different options. Like I said, you can do berserk, cover, retreat, vehicles, grenades, equipment, object interaction. It's all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty easy to set up. And that, guys, is how you set up AI objectives. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Of course, if you did, drop a like on it. And if it helped you out, please consider subscribing. For more mod tutorial videos and also mod showcases 
on the channel. My name is Icy Vice. Have a good one. I'm signing out. Peace.